I could have singled out almost every single member of the Ravens' front seven against the Titans for individual plaudits. It was an extraordinary performance by the entire unit that didn't allow Derrick Henry a single first down the entire game. But perhaps the most spectacular was Pernell McPhee rolling back the years. To be honest, this video is basically just a Pernell McPhee highlight video. His game was that good. Here's McPhee. And this is perfect technique. It should probably be teach tape. He engages the tackle, gets his hands on and keeps his hips low. Watch how he uses the impacts of the engage to keep himself outside to hold that edge. He rips down. I mean, he literally rips the tackle to the ground. And look at how he propels himself to tackle Henry from behind, taking his legs away. It was just raw physicality from Pernell McPhee all day. Here's McPhee. And this is perfect technique. It should probably be teach tape. He engages the tackle, gets his hands on and keeps his hips low. Watch how he uses the impacts of the engage to keep himself outside to hold that edge. He rips down. I mean, he literally rips the tackle to the ground. And look at how he propels himself to tackle Henry from behind, taking his legs away. It was just raw physicality from Pernell McPhee all day. Here's McPhee on a tight end this time. Two clips so far and two blockers sent to the ground. Will it be three in a row? Yes. And this is just flat out dominant. He engages, gets his arms inside and extends. Now he actually gets himself into a weak position as he tries to get outside here. Watch his inside leg cross over his outside leg, which is not a powerful position. And you'll see him actually lose some ground here. As I rock and roll this clip, look at Brandon Williams and Justin Madabike inside and see how their legs never cross over. Yet still, McPhee survives the attempted double team and violently sheds this tight end and makes the tackle. For those who want a taste of what Madabike was doing, Watch him here on the All-22 of this play. He drives his blocker back, he resets the line of scrimmage, and he takes the blocker to the fullback, which completely curbs all of Henry's momentum, and McPhee's there to finish him off. Now, Justin Madabike also had himself a pretty amazing day. I was tempted to do yet another video on him again this week, but my friend Edgar did a great breakdown of Justin versus the Titans on his channel, so I'll link that in the description below for those interested. Here's McPhee. This is the Derek Wolf sack. Watch how McPhee frees up Wolf on this stunt. He's like a bull in a china shop, crashing down, taking his blocker, and then just charging into Wolf's blocker, too, taking them both completely out of the play, which keeps Wolf completely free to get to Tannehill. But Wolf sets this up for McPhee, too. Watch him set up his rush as if he's going outside to pull the offensive lineman away from McPhee. And he only stops going upfield just as McPhee is arriving, which doesn't allow the offensive lineman to adjust. And he gets blindsided by a freight train. It should also be pointed out the important role that Tyus Bowser plays here. He drops from the line right into Tannehill's first read, which forces Tannehill away from it. And Tannehill hasn't got time to get to his second read before he's taken down. Here's McPhee. This is actually the first run of the game, and it really set the tone for the whole game. It's great work by Brandon Williams, Calais Campbell, and Matthew Judon on the front side to clog this up. Look at Judon taking on the double team, and Campbell and Williams both resetting the line of scrimmage with their blockers too. Watch McPhee, nicely disciplined, not over-pursuing, just watching for this handoff and squeezing down the line of scrimmage. And as soon as he sees that handoff, he accelerates. Look at how Henry has been completely stopped by the mess in front of him. And McPhee from the backside gets Henry nice and low. But this play explicitly shows the two keys to stopping Derek Henry. Force him to change direction early in the play so he can't build momentum and low tackling. The Ravens only missed three tackles the entire game. And at least one of those missed tackles was actually a positive play anyway. Here's McPhee.
Again, he's on the backside, but this time we've got a mesh point and Tannehill is actively reading McPhee. He's staying nice and square, watching the mesh, staying outside for the keep, but squeezing down the line of scrimmage to condense that gap. His discipline forces the give to Henry. Derek Wolfe is resetting the line of scrimmage by bench-pressing 64 backwards, which forces Henry to redirect. And perfect form on this tackle by McPhee. Great technique. Low hips, he gets cheek to cheek. His head's on the correct side of Henry's body and his head's up, wraps his arms and drives through the contact point. Pernell McPhee was putting on an absolute clinic against the Titans. On only 20 snaps, of which 10 were against the run, he registered five stops, which is outrageous. He led the team in tackles despite only playing 39% of the defensive snaps. It felt like he was everywhere despite the low snap count. Flares Campbell might have had his best game as a Raven and Judon was awesome again. But they were both completely outshone by McPhee, who looked like he'd rolled back the years to his first stint with the Ravens. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.